What is going on, guys? Welcome to the High Five Studios Fancast Episode 7. I'm Noah. I'm Asher. And we're, this is a banger episode. This is going to be a great episode. Yes. Uh, so, you know, if you guys don't know, I don't know what I, I don't know. You guys, I don't know what you guys don't know. But uh, make sure to go check out the High Five merch Reddit, subreddit. Uh, link in the yeah. description below. So go check that out. And yeah. go upvote the one that you want. Go upvote the yeah. one that you want. But yeah, go upvote the one that you would like to see as a merch idea. And make sure to go check out the merch, too. So yeah. go pick your up some, because it is running out. Well, not running yeah. out, but the time's yes. running out for you to get one. Uh, so now, let's get, get on to this episode. Uh, so the first episode is, you know, Matthias, like usual, uh, is I made a cash grab booth to pay my employees. This video came out on August 19th, 2020. So basically, Matt made a cash grab booth, but instead of cash, it was, you know, sticky notes, or not sticky notes, but pieces of paper where somebody would write ideas on, and Matt would price them. So let's say one was a $20 idea, or one was a $1 idea. You know, they'd have multiples, and the whole team did it. And Tanner actually did join with this one. So uh, we got to see that. So uh, Hannah did win. She got like $59. And then the winner gets the rest of the money. So whatever you, however many of yours gets picked. So let's say uh, I have five ones. They are each $20. That means I would get $100. And if that's the most, I would get the rest of the money. If I don't have the most, the I would get the however amount I won. Uh, so yeah, I really like this one. Uh, Matt did. Uh, this was when Matt found his fidget spinner. Uh, Asher, what did you think about this one? Um, I liked it. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah. Oh, and they actually they also talked about uh, renaming High Five. Yeah. Uh, so it Asher, was- if you had to change the name of High Five, what would you think to change it to? Um, uh, I'd probably change it to something. I don't know, like maybe Battle Universe. Or something like not the name Battle the Universe, but like um, maybe like uh, Matt's Universe or something. Matt's Universe, I like that. Or like like kind of like Team Edge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of such stuff like that. Nice, nice. nice. Um, I don't know what yeah. I rename it. I really don't. Yeah. But you know, they they did they will never rename. It. I don't think they would ever rename it, or at least Matt would. Maybe when Matt sells the business, but you know. Uh, so what would you rate this video, Asher? Um, I don't know. I think uh, I like this video. Um, not the best Matthias video, not the worst. I'd probably rate this a eight point five out of ten. Nice. Yeah, I really like this one. This was really fun. You know, Matthias always makes that quality yeah. content. I'd probably rate this a 9 out of 10. Yeah. Uh, you know, I really like that. Uh, go, uh, I was going to say go leave a comment, but we don't have comments on this. But make sure to go maybe call in or leave a review saying, uh, if you would rename High Five, what would you rena- rename it to? Uh, so uh-huh. call in or basically comment on our newest post on Instagram, High Five Studios Fancast, so go do that. And then the next one is Overnight at High Five Studios Challenge. We found something crazy. So this video came on August 21st, 2020. So basically, this was ghost hunting again. This was kind of like the part two of the Overnight Challenge they did like like two years ago. Uh, But, you know, before it started, Matt did his, showed his reading your comments live stream. Which, I remember watching this, so that felt like a while ago. It was like two weeks ago, I think, they filmed it. Uh, And then they talked, and then actually a fan found Matt. Which, you know, we don't really get to see, like, fans finding Matt or basically anybody from High Five or Team Edge, really. So it's kind of cool, and, you know, in the vlog. Which is kind of cool, like, you really don't see Matt, like, connect with fans like this. So I really like that. Uh, yeah, that's really cool. But this one, th- this was a really creepy episode. Well, video, yeah. Video episode, same kind of difference. But, you know, it was, oh, it kind of gave me the heebie-jeebies. So basically, you know, uh, they collabed with Dope or Nope, so Tanner and Pat were with them. 
Mm. Uh, so basically, they stayed in red base, uh, only in red base this yeah. time. Uh, so basically, you know, they built forts. I'm um, basically, you know, brought out some ghost hunting tools. And, you know, uh, they, uh, so they had like a laser grid, a uh, boo buddy, which these are in the Dope or Nope episode, and like a necklace. And I think one other thing, I don't remember exactly what it is, but, you know, they go to Orange Base Warehouse to go, they go to Orange Base to go grab some stuff. Uh huh. Uh, and Woods, you know, he was on his little, uh, little like, uh, hoverboard cart thing. Yeah. Too, which is, uh, which is really funny. I think Woods being on that, it's like super funny just to watch. Um, uh, what else? Uh, and then Hannah had went to the bathroom and they oh, were yeah. just sitting there and Hannah like screamed really loudly. And that, was, that was creepy. I know. That was- like that was like blood curdling. Like, uh, and she basically like pulled up in like the corner right next to the bathroom. Yeah. She said that she saw like a giant shadow, like. Either like going for like going for the door, and she screamed, and then like disappeared. Uh, and yeah. then they got like the uh, and then like I, that was like crazy too. I was like, oh my gosh, like I believe it. Like maybe yeah. it's fake. It, definitely, that could have been faked. But like I don't I, know. I didn't feel like it was uh, like I thought that it was fake at first, but then I was like, wait, I don't know. And I, yeah, like the scream, like when like when I first heard the scream, I'm like, that doesn't sound like a fake scream. Yeah, that just. But then she was just so calm afterwards that it was just like, like weird. I don't know, like that. Well, like I, I think she was just in shock. Mm-hmm. Like you know when. I thought that she'd run to that, like or something. Well, she doesn't know. Like, Asher, if you, if you're yeah. when you see something out of the corner of your eye, yeah, you may run, but if you're in a corner, you like just like, oh my gosh. And, like, you know, you kind of go in, like, shock, and you can't really move. I don't know if that's ever happened uh-huh. to you, but, uh, you know, it was really creepy. So they got, like, the laser grid, and Matt set up his vlog camera. So, you know, they had that. And they basically, it, this wasn't at, you know, I, I didn't like this one as much as the past one. Probably because uh-huh. Paul and Connor weren't there. You know, the, we had the Matthias team there. But, you know, I think this one was really fun. You know, they did, like, uh kind of like Tanner asked a bunch of them questions to, and a uh, little spoiler alert, they did not spend the night there. Yeah. They And then, cause uh, when they finally, like a couple hours later, they got like, they, they took the footage from the laser grid and the camera and they put it, they put on Woods' computer and they looked at it and uh-huh. you can see that, the door to, I'm pretty sure, like, the warehouse part of it yeah. closed, and, like, late, like, the lasers, like, rippled, kind of. Yeah. And then the bathroom door shut. Like, or, what? no, the bathroom door opened. No, I'm pretty sure that it's shut. No, no, no. The, the uh, warehouse door shut, but the bathroom door opened. Okay. So I was like, oh, my gosh. And right when I saw, right when they showed it, it started, like, thundering. And raining got like really dark at my house. I was like, yeah. "Oh my gosh!" It's like this is really uh, creepy. Uh and uh, I do have to say, I did. I when I commented on this, uh, somebody I'm not gonna name names, but somebody commented on like, "Oh, they just had somebody close the door, and the wind current made the lasers, r- r- like you know, move and that stuff." I was like, "But wind currents can't do that, like." Like, the way the laser moved, the wind currents couldn't do that. Because, yeah. as Matt said at the end, the laser, like, like the like the laser, like, part of the laser stayed in place, but, like, part of it, like, moved. Like, something was moving, like, like something, it was, like, clear, but also not clear. <clears throat> like, it split, I should say. So, part of it stayed on course, but part of it split off and kind of formed around what moved it. I was, and then yeah. he's like... Oh, wind wind currents can do that. I'm like, no, they can't. I'm like, wind currents cannot make, cannot split a laser where one part of it stays and part of it 
ways, and you know he hasn't answered yet. So yeah, I think I proved him wrong. But you know, I yeah. you know he's, he's speaking his mind, which it definitely could have been staged. I don't know how they would have done it, but I yeah. really don't think it was staged. Mm, I don't by their reaction. But yeah, like this was like when this was like in the past one where like the mop fell over. Like they were like actually like seriously like oh my gosh, I'm not staying here. Yeah. But and but they did bail and did leave, which you know I was like. Hey, if Paul and Connor weren't there, I bet they would have stayed. Yeah. Uh, and Sam was basically scared the whole night, even before anything yeah. really started. Uh, Matt did scare Tanner, too, at the beginning. I didn't say that. But, you know, it was crazy. I've always, like, you know, I, I like videos like these. I think these are really fun to watch and that stuff. And it was, this at, this video was 40 minutes long. So this is like yeah. 10 minutes longer than like a usual one that he does, like 10 minutes longer, which is like, I was like, yes, more content. And I think that's why he only uploaded twice this week, because, uh -huh. you know, that's longer. But I really, I thought this was crazy. Uh, Asher, do you have anything to say about this? Because I knew I was asking you stuff. Yeah. But yeah, what, what do you think about this? Um. So I, so I, um, actually Noah told me to um like to not watch this video at night yeah last yeah the um, the night it came out i was like asher do not watch well, it yeah last, yeah last or so, no like after recording this last night we're recording it uh a bit earlier saturday and then, and then so year. friday when it came out i'm like asher do not watch it at night i'm like please don't yeah, yeah. And he's like okay and then asher you tell him the rest um so but i did I actually did watch it at night, um, and it was it was really creepy. I must say, um, definitely uh, didn't go to sleep as early as I usually do, you know, uh, because I uh, like yeah, I usually go to bed probably I don't know twelve ish, and I went to bed probably at two because uh, I don't know it just it's creeped me out um and just because like the late like how the lasers moved um matt said in the video that um like uh the uh what was it um like if like because he's like a kind of scientific person yeah um, or, yeah that yeah that he um he thinks that there's a like an actual explanation for this well but yeah there's always an explanation to everything yeah, but I don't know. I feel like it could, like, for the people who don't know High Five that much, they might be, they might, like, you might think that they're doing this for views. You know, they're not the biggest YouTube channel ever. Um, but, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I feel, I'm, like, mixed on this. Because, like, it could be, like, real and then that's really really creepy and just proves the point that i already thought like high five is haunted like i don't i'm not i don't really believe in ghosts or anything like that but i like that's creepy um and i don't know but i i, I kind of feel like bad for woods because he had to stay there during quarantine remember yeah i wonder if he has any stories about that um but yeah, I think, uh, I don't know. I This is just like, I love the video. It's just really creepy. Um, and I think Wait, this actually, is, I don't, love the first don't, Actually, don't rate it. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I'm not. Okay, but, okay. okay. Uh, um, I really, really like the first one. Though. This one, the first one was amazing. I loved it. Um, it was kind of, it was, uh, I like this better because like, it was kind of like the, like, it is the second part, but it's kind of like, like at the first part they do jokes it's funny and then when it gets like later then it's like creepy um and but they did spend the whole night um this yeah. time they did yeah and, um, I, and before you uh if i can say something right now but like yeah. i do believe in like a spiritual realm you know there's yeah yeah like i do believe there's stuff out there you know mm -hmm. that stuff like that 
I'm like, you know, I, I, that could totally be true. Like, I'm like, I don't know how, if they, if it was fake, how they would do it. Yeah. Maybe there's like a setting on it where I don't know, but I don't think there is. But like, I was really, really creepy. And I was like, I mean, like, the lights, and then they were yeah. like splitting. Yeah. Like, th- there was no way a, they could have done that. Yeah. And like, closed, like, e- there, yeah, there's a way, like, they could have closed the door and then opened the other door. Uh huh. But I, I don't know how they would do like the laser thing. I just yeah. thought it was like crazy. I'm like, like I don't know what I was more creeped out by. Either I don't know if it was either like the the first one or the second one. I don't know which one. I, I think I was more creeped out by. I don't know. Both of them are like really creepy. And like I remember like watching like after watching this, I saw a video. I'm like, man. I'm like, and then I like, saw like on TikTok, and I was just going through it just at night. And like, wow, like you're a TikToker. No, no, I just you know no. I do it like just like before I go to bed, but like and there was like when like you know either on my for you page there was like a creepy video. I was like not like creepy, but it was like a part of like the beginning of like one of like a creepy short film. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm getting a bunch of these short film things. I'm like, man, yeah. I'm like, this is just even more creepy. So I was like, oh, I don't want to go to bed now, but you know, uh-huh. I was able to go to bed. But, yeah, I really like this one. This one's really fun to watch. Uh, Asher, yeah. what do you rate this video? Um, so, definitely uh, loved the video. Made me stay up at night. But it was a really, really good video. I'm going to have to rate it 10 out of 10. Loved it. I'm yeah, already nice. Yeah. Oh, and actually, before, I really hope they do this again. Uh-huh. I hope maybe maybe they do it like around Halloween time. Well, they said they said that they that well at the end of the video they said that Matt or Matt said that he wanted to do that again. This but thing. like he's like I don't but not like soon. But if they yeah. did this during like Halloween time, uh-huh. I think it would get a bunch of views. Definitely, and it would do really good, especially during Halloween time when it's like everything's like even more creepier. Yeah. And, like, I, I, I definitely, I love these types of, like, I, because you can tell when things are fake and when things are real. And to me, this is more real than fake. Yeah. This is, like, maybe, if it's, like, an out five, like, one is super fake, five is, like, super real, I'm probably a four. But yeah. I'm a four. But, you know, it was crazy. Uh, And the sponsor of this video was actually Tube Buddy. Yeah. So, you know, Matt, when, they, when they introduced the video, I definitely thought that it, it's like something else weird. Yeah. And like when they, you know, they did like the little uh, Matt and Tanner did do a little skit for it. Their acting was definitely not the best. Uh-huh. I th- I th- at first I was like, OK, this doesn't seem right. And then they're like, let's look outside. And they're like, oh, it's too buddy. <laughs> I was like. Yeah. They got they got me. They got me. But you know, yeah, the yeah. sponsor was too buddy. So yeah. Uh Asher, what do you rate this video? Oh no, you already rated it a ten out of ten. But I love this one. This was great. I would have to rate this a ten out of ten. Nice. Actually, no, oh I I want to change it. I want to change it. I'd rate it a ten point five out of ten. Oh wow. Yeah. Then I rate the, this in a hundred out of ten. I rate this in a thousand out of ten. Okay, now on to the next one. Nice. Uh, but yeah, I thought that was a really good one. Uh, so now we are onto the Rose channel for this. Now we're on to Rose for this week. Uh, so the first episode was, first video, I don't know why I say episode. But yeah. uh, it is We Tried Employees Fast Food Combos. This came out on August 17th, 2020. So basically Rose and Michael go to five different fast food restaurants. The first one was in and out uh, second one was McDonald's, third Taco Bell, fourth Jack in the Box, and five Polo Loco. I've never heard of Polo Loco, but I don't live in California, which is probably why. I know California has, like, a bunch of different restaurants that, you know, the East, or the East Coast doesn't have, like, in and out We don't have, but I have had it in Texas, which is super good. I really uh, – this was really fun. So, basically, they just went around getting different combos. 
Uh, the McDonald's lady did not have a combo and basically said, like, I think it was, like, the McDouble or something. Uh, and then, yeah. was it either Taco Bell, uh, Jack in the Box, I think. Yeah, Jack in the Box, or Mini, or no. Let's talk about, I'm getting confused, but, you know, uh, I think it was either, it was one of the, there were, like, two ones where people were like, oh, we don't do combos here, blah, blah, blah. But I really yeah. like this one. This was really fun. You know, just wasn't in the office at all. You know, kind of just like their own thing. Uh, what did you think about this video, Asher? Um, I liked it. Um, yeah, I thought that it was an interesting video. Um, but I, I see, I've seen it before. You know, but yeah, I liked it. Um, probably I would rate this an eight out of ten. Nice. Yeah, I, I really liked it. It was fun. Definitely, probably my. I, it was really good. I'd probably rate this a 8.5 out of 10. Nice. And then the next one is I Broke Into My Boss's Tesla Prank. Uh, August 18th, 2020. So basically, Rose try, uh, Rose was going to prank Matt, Matt and believe him and make him believe that someone actually broke into his Tesla. Uh, so they used fake glass uh -huh. and basically made it look like somebody smashed the window. And then basically got Sierra, Sam uh, in on this. And basically had Sierra, Vox, Sam. That's when he had the Matt's Tesla. And then when they got out there, Matt like actually fell for it for like maybe a couple seconds. But then he's like, oh. Yeah. But, then he's, but then he's like, I thought we were going to prank Sierra because they were planning on pranking Sierra. So he thought that this was part of that. So he went along with it thinking that they were pranking Sierra. But, you know, that never happened. Rose came out, and he's like, yeah, I knew this was fake glass because of the way it shattered. And Rose is like, well, you know, I don't think they can prank Matt. I think Matt's just like, Matt's too smart. Uh -huh. And he, you know, he's just too smart to be get pranked. Or when he does get pranked, it's like either like super small or like super big, you know. But he fought, but he you know, catches most of them. So, uh, Asher, what do you, do you have to say anything about this video? Um, I think it's been a while since someone has pranked, or, it, I don't know, like, not in a staged setting, uh, pranked Matthias. Yeah. Um, because, like, the ball, like, the prank one they did when, like, they put the blocks in his office. Yeah. That was, uh, that was a little staged. Oh, no, that was definitely staged. Um, but this one, it wasn't that much, so I, I liked it. Um, I'd give it a 8.5 out of 10. Nice. Yeah, I, I really like this one. Definitely love the pranks from Rose. I think she's, she's a really good pranker. Yeah. Uh, I'd probably rate this a, one well, no, I, I really like this one. It's like nice seeing everybody in it and like actually seeing like the planning going on and like, uh, I'd probably rate this a 9 out of 10. Nice. Uh, now on to the next Rose and the final Rose video for this week. It is I Open the Worst Restaurant Ever. This came out August 20th, 2020. So basically, uh, Rose and Michael went to Dollar Tree. You know, they picked up supplies to, you know, have it. They picked up some food. And they had Pat, Hannah, and Michael Badal. So you can see Michael Badal in this. Uh, they mm -hmm. So basically, they had him come to the restaurant. Rose and Woods were the servers. Uh, basically, Michael, I think all, all of them wanted an alcoholic beverage, but they didn't have any. Uh, so they just got him like some sparkling, uh, a sparkling drink. Uh, so they had, so the appetizer was a lobster roll. Uh, and Rose actually called Pat a Karen. Yeah. Which I, I could see, I could see Pat being a male Karen. Kind of. Uh, the main course was uh, either meatloaf or pork. Uh, Michael Badal. I don't know why I'm saying Badal. I think all you know that I'm talking about Michael Badal. Ah, oh, darn it. Said it again. But uh, was he, so Hannah and Michael Badal. I keep saying Badal. I can't say just Michael. Because I keep thinking of like Michael Talamantes. But uh, Michael, Michael Badal and Hannah got the meatloaf and uh, Pat got the pork, and for dessert, it was chocolate pudding with some Scooby snacks, which actually yeah. did look really good. 
Have you have ever had a Scooby Snack? Yes, I have. I used to love those things as a kid. Yeah, me too. I was like, dude, Scooby Snacks. Mom, we need Scooby Snacks. So, Asher, what did you think about this video? Um, I like that. I think this is my favorite one out of the, uh, out of the Rose videos. Um, nice. Yeah, I like this video. I would have to give this a, a 9 out of 10. Nice. Oh, wow. Oh, I thought you said 10 out of 10 for a second. I don't know why no. I got 10 out of 10. But yeah, nice. nice. Yeah. I really like this one. I'd probably rate this a 9 out of 10, too. Nice. So now we're going on to Team Edge. Asher, go for it. Yes. Um. So the uh, Team Edge video for this week is uh, we put a ski slope in Team or in the Edge speech. So um, the date was, I think, August 21st, 2020. Um, so the gist of this video is they put the slopes that they had from the slippery slope video. Um, they put that together. They shaved off some of the jump, like the little, um, like mounds kind of yeah. thing. Uh, and they, uh, made a slope out of it. Um, and it looks really, really cool. So they went and made it, um, out of i don't know what was under it looked like metal or something it was wood um no okay. no oh no uh, no like, like the 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 slide part yeah styrofoam okay yeah well, um, i don't know why shiny yeah no something. it's it's like the styrofoam they use in like their all their styrofoam videos so whenever they use styrofoam okay, they yeah. use that okay um so, yeah, so they made uh that um then uh, they did a few challenges. So, um, uh, the first one was, uh, how high could you make it up the slope? Um, Bobby won that surprisingly. Yeah. I uh, didn't think that he would, but he did. Um, throughout the whole video, Kevin was in it, but he didn't want to slide down because either I, I, I feel like he was just scared because he was, he's getting a little bit old. Um, you know, no offense to Kevin, but, you know, a little bit of, like, older than he was um, when they started Team Edge. Um, yeah. Or even, like, you know, High Five, um, like High Five Universe or but I, Universe. You know, I think, I think, I know people who are just, like, getting nervous at stuff like that, like water slides, I know, or roller coasters, let's say. Some people, like, may, you know, think roller coasters are cool, but they just, like, are super nervous to go on one. I think that's kind of what it yeah. is. I don't, I, I think if, if he was like, if he wasn't nervous, he definitely would have done it. I don't think it's really old age. I think it's just being nervous about it. Uh huh. Um, so then, uh, just for the fun of it, they slid down with their, uh, giant inflatable gorilla, or uh, harmble, harmby. Ha harambe. Okay. Uh, was this the first time that harambe was featured in a video? No, it was not. Okay. Um, I thought that it was, but yeah. Um, no, it was not. It was, then, uh, it uh, was the, the uh, Slippery Slope Challenge. The, oh, okay, yeah, well, yeah. The, well, the, uh, the, the second Slippery Slope one, so where they had both of them. That's when Harambe first Okay. Played. Yeah. Um, so then the next uh, challenge or whatever was skiing on boogie boards, uh, kayaks, and then the bubble, or Zorb ball. Um Kevin was going to go down it, but then uh, Bobby, being a total homie, uh, he volunteered because Kevin didn't want to do it. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so, then the last one, or the last part of it, they had a competition um, who could slide down in one of the uh, storage containers and grab a flag from the middle. Um, so, uh, it was uh, Brian and Jordan. Uh, went first, Jordan won, Joey and Bobby went, Joey won, and then surprisingly, uh, uh, it was Joey and Jordan, and Jordan won. I thought that Bobby, or that Joey would win. Yeah. But no, it was Jordan, so yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, what do you think of this video? Uh, I really liked it. Uh, I, this uh -huh. is definitely one of my favorite Team match ones. You know, they, they didn't, it wasn't, it was less challenge-based and more just like, Having fun hanging around. I'd probably rate this a 9 out of 10. Yeah. 
Um, I like this video. Um, I think definitely one of my favorite from the week. Uh, they put a lot of work into it. Um, so I would have to give this video a 9.5 out of 10. Nice, nice, yeah. nice. Uh, so I think that's it for this half. Uh, we're going to go on a quick break, and uh, then we'll be reviewing the Dope Renope and the Get Good Gaming portion of this episode. Uh, so you'll be hearing us in right now. Now we're back from that break. Uh, so now onto the Dope or Nope videos of this week. Uh, so we start off with 10 magic products magicians don't want you to see. This video came out on August 18th, 2020. So basically this is whole magic video. Uh, so yeah. the first product uh, is a dice tower. So, you know, they can guess who picks what, blah, blah, blah. They uh, they rated that uh, a dope. Uh, so it was a, uh, they rated it an 11, which is a dope. Mm -hmm. uh, then it was the lock key. So like a, so Tanner knew which key it was because the key was magnetic. Uh, they rated that a 10, which is a nope. And then a jewel box. So basically, you know, they could tell what jewel had fallen or was in it. Uh, and then they actually, they gave this a two. So it was a mega nope. Yeah. Which is, you know, we usually don't get mega nopes on this. You know, there's not there's yeah. not many mega nopes on uh, dope or nope anymore. Or even mega dopes. Well, is this the first mega nope that, no, or mega is, anything it, it, it that? Um, no, no, it's not. Uh, no, there's been Mega Nopes and Mega Dopes before. Well, on the uh, High Five Studios fan cast. Yes, the first one on High Five Studios fan cast, but not in on Dope or Nope. Yeah. Uh, Maybe then, even first one of 2020. De it definitely could have been. Yeah. Uh, and then the next one is a fire wallet. So basically the wallet, you know, can catch on fire. Uh, <clears> gave, <throat> they gave that an 18, a dope. That was almost a suit. That was almost a Mega Dope. Mm -hmm. If yeah, just two more, two yeah. more. Yeah, it would have been a mega dope. Uh, and then the next one is a magic bag. So, ba well, not like a bag, but like a little mesh thing where they can guess the card. Uh, they rated that. They gave that a seven, uh, which is a nope. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. And then you uh uh. The spoon to fork trick. They gave that a four. That was a nope. And then the yeah. floating card trick. Uh, they gave that a three. That was a nope. Almost a soup. A uh, mega nope. Yeah. But you know, they they you know, I'm pretty sure it's uh, Tanner that rated it a two. But you know, I think it was. I think it. I think it could have done better if it. You know, it actually like worked better. And you couldn't see, like, the wire part. Yeah. Uh, and then they had the water to ice, so, like, little, like, fake ice that would match with the water. They gave that They gave that a 12, so a dope. Tanner didn't think it was cool, but Matt knew how it worked. You just need to let it wait a while. Uh, and then the next one is a magic can. Uh, so they gave that a 3, so a nope. Almost. A... Yeah. Uh, mega, uh, mega nope, but you know, mm -hmm. uh, and then they had like the little X, X marks the spot thing. They gave that an eleven, which is a dope. It's just like the execution was wrong. Uh, so the most useless, uh, most useless product was the jewel box, and the most useful product was the wallet, which I definitely agree. But I would switch the jewel box out with the can. Uh -huh. I thought the can was the worst. Uh, so there were four dopes and six nopes. Asher, what do you think about this video? Um, I liked it. Um, like, Dope Nope is my favorite, but it was still a really funny video. I'd have to rate this video a um, 8.5 out of 10. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, I, I really liked it. It was really fun. I'd probably rate this an 8.5 out of 10, too. Nice. Uh, now into the next video. It is the Ghost Hunting Teddy Bear. Eight products that prove High Five Studios is haunted. This video came on August 21st, 2020. Uh, so this was basically uh, some, so some of these products they did use in the Matthias video. 
Uh, yeah. So, you know, but they didn't use all of them. Uh, so the first one was like the Flux 2. So basically, you know, like a, not a Flux capacitor. But, you know, it could kind of like the ghost could say yes for green, no for, or red for no. So, you know, they could <clears throat> ask questions, yes, no, or like green for female, red for male, or what, really whatever, like have a color coded. Uh, so in this video, they actually didn't rate any of the products. And the reason is, I th I think the reason is because, you know, they were going to use it in the Matthias video. But, uh, you know, they were going to, they didn't rate it because they really didn't, they weren't able to try it then. So they were going to do it in the Matthias video, but they never really rated it. So there are no <laughs> ratings on this one. So we're just going to go through the products. Uh, yeah. And then, and actually, you know what? we will rate them. Uh, so, Asher, what would you rate this product? Uh, so, the teddy bear? No, the Flux 2. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, I would rate it, I don't know. It didn't really work that well, in my opinion. Yes, it did. Or, mm, I don't know. Well, you couldn't really base it off because there's, like, no ghost there. But, you know, it yeah, did yeah. work with, like, the sensors and that stuff. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I will like a doper and nope. Yeah. I no no number rated number rated. Oh okay. Um, I don't know. Maybe like a seven. A seven. I I thought it was. I would probably give this an eight. So that is a no. fifteen. So it is a dope. Nice. Uh, and then the so the next one is a wrist recorder. So basically, it's like an basically looks like an Apple Watch, but it can re basically just record stuff. So you can like you can even like plug in headphones and listen live. So you can like if like a ghost says anything, you can hear it. Like wow, <clears throat> uh, and you can have it recorded, and you know it's not in the way really. Uh, that's really it, Asher. What would, uh, what do you think about this product, and what would you rate it? Um, I think this is the most useful for ghosts out of all of them, because say like someone walking along has that on. Um, the, if the ghosts follow that person, they could record a podcast. Um, and then hopefully the person will hear it. Um, so I think this is very useful and I'd give this a 10. So if you're not, I mean like, you know, yeah, it works for ghosts, but you know, you can also record a podcast there. I like that. Yeah. And you know, like, let's say you're recording a podcast and you hear a ghost, boom, you got yeah. it on or, but I think, I think definitely if like. Because, you know, you can, you know, sometimes you just hear your name, but you're usually not recording uh -huh. that stuff and you just like randomly hear it. I wonder if like if you have that recording, like, yeah. if you actually can hear that or like if you mm -hmm. hear something and like it catches it. So I think this is really useful. I'd probably rate this a nine. Mm -hmm. So it's a 19. Uh, so it is a dope, not a mega dope, though. Yeah. But definitely, I think, really practical. But, you know, not always practical for ghost stuff. But I think it would be pretty practical. The next one is a necklace. So, basically, like, it's green and then, like, blue if there's a friendly ghost and red if it's a bad ghost around. It did turn red a couple times, but it also turned blue a couple times in the, in the Matthias video. So. Yeah, wait, wait. So, when did it... When they were... Wait, when did it ever turn red? I forget that part. It actually, wait, did it ever turn red? I don't think it did. I only think it turned blue. It turned blue when they were in the circle. Yeah. The first and time. And then when uh, it was in, uh, when Hannah was uh, screaming yeah. when they yeah, went I, to go find him. Or was it, I, I don't, I really don't remember. Uh, we'll probably, you know, next episode we'll finally hear that. But if you guys have seen it. You you guys know, but you know, I don't remember exactly how many times I know. I know it turned blue. I don't know if it turned red though. It might have turned red. Uh, -huh. uh so Asher, what yeah. do you rate this, and what do you think about it? Um, I don't know. I don't really like kind of what I said before. I don't really believe in ghosts that much. Like I don't know. Like I like in spiritual stuff. Yeah. Um, like angels and demons, kind of. You know. Stuff like that. But uh, I don't know how useful it would be. I think it's just a marketing strategy to just get 
you know, people to buy stuff. So, yeah. But maybe um, it's like, oh, I was going to say, but like maybe, it, maybe it's like not, maybe it's just like the thing like is attracted to like maybe like electromagnetic stuff. Yeah. So like that maybe if like maybe if it's more electromagnetic, it turns something like that, like non-harmful. But like when it, at, it when it's in a certain spot, and if that spot doesn't move, whenever you go there, oh, it's blue or it's red. Maybe I don't know, or maybe it's just on a timer. We really don't know. Yeah. But yeah, where do you rate this? Um, I would rate this. I don't know. I think a um. Uh. I don't know. Uh, eight. Or no, not eight, seven. I guess I don't know. I'd probably rate this a seven too. You know, four. Yeah, it's hard so. to rate ghost products that we didn't even. Yeah, we didn't really use. And we, yeah, but you know, I. But what I what it's based off. I think it's. I think it's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then the next one is the Boo Buddy. Yeah. Oh, th- this one I think is probably the worst one out of all of them. Yeah. So basically. It's just like a teddy bear that has some lights on it. And I think what the what they said at the Matthias video saying, like, we think it's actually just like they they bought it and then they put on some lights and that stuff. But it's literally just a child's toy, which I think it might be. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I would probably rate this a one. Um, I would rate this actually a zero because you yeah, i don't like teddy bears you at least need to rate it a one okay then a one so this is a meganope yeah that's you know two meganopes this episode technically wait wasn't this an a meganope or no they, but they never rated it so yeah but i i bet it would be a meganope uh yeah, so that one's really bad. But I think the best one is this laser grid one. Yeah, Basically, you know it's like a grid of lasers, and you know it catches stuff, and you, you know you can kind of like see if there's something like on the wall, and like it kind of yeah. moves, which I think is really cool. Mm-hmm. And I think you know it wasn't repurposed at all. I think it was really cool. I I thought this was definitely the coolest product. I I would even get this. No, yeah. and you know and the thing is, you don't even need to use it for ghost hunting. You can use it for like laser darts or like mm-hmm. you know draw squares on the wall. I think you could use it for a lot of things. So I think it's really cool. Asher, what do you think about this one? Um, I don't know. I I liked it. Or like it looked cool. It looked useful. Um, I would give it a eight. Oh, okay, nice. Yeah, I thought this was really cool, and I think the best product out of all. I'd probably rate this a 10 out of 10. Nice. I really liked it. I thought I thought this was really cool. Uh, the next one is a motion sensor, which is basically just a repurpose. It basically, it's a motion sensor that you put at your house, but they basically <clears throat> bought, it, bought it, didn't even care to put a sticker on it. Like, that says, like, go stop on it. So basically, it's literally just like a regular like house uh, motion sensor thing. That's, yeah. Uh, what would you rate this, Asher? Um, a a seven out of ten. A seven. Yeah. Wow, I would rate this like a two. Yeah. Uh, so that is a nope, and oh, the laser grid is also a dope. Uh-huh. And then the next one, which I thought was really cool too, is the IR light. So it's an infrared light. So it produces a light that the human eye cannot see. And that makes the camera see in infrared. Or it's a light that shows infrared and the camera can actually see it. Yeah. But a regular camera cannot see it. Uh, yeah. So, you know, which I which you know, I thought this, this was really cool too. I'd, uh, I'd probably rate this a 9 out of 10. Asher, what about you? Um, Yeah, I'd rate this. Um, Yeah, I think I'd, I'd rate it an 8.5 out of 10. Nice. 
So that is a dope. And the final one, which I think is really cool too, a ghost meter. So when they first used this on Dope or Nope, it didn't work and they thought like, oh, it doesn't work and it's cheap. And But when they did it during the Matthias video, like it did stuff that it hasn't done before. Yeah. And basically like started like flashing, making like a noise, I think. And they like, it was like crazy too. And the thing is with this, like they said it's like maybe could like, like electromagnet, you know, stuff like that. But uh, if you guys don't know, if you guys haven't seen Ghostbusters, the original Ghostbusters, they have like, you know, this little uh, thing where they can detect like if ghosts are near kind of, where I'm pretty sure it goes by the electromagnetic field. Mm. And basically yeah. when there's a disturbance in the electromagnetic field, that's when a ghost is around basically. So I think this was like a, uh, no, a magnetic, uh, electromagnetic field thing. I don't know of electric, uh, electromagnetic fields are not harmful unless I think they're not. So maybe it's like yeah. that and like, you know, the disturbance in the electromagnetic field kind of, which I thought was really cool. You know, I, when I was like 10, I loved Ghostbusters. <clears throat> it, it was like my favorite movie. So like, yeah. I was like into like this ghost stuff a lot. Uh-huh. too like like 10 years ago like a couple years ago i was like oh my gosh ghostbusters watching ghost videos that were totally fake yeah but now i'm like man i loved when i was into like that ghost phase kind of in Ghostbusters yeah. phase. it was super fun i would i would rate this a 10 out of 10 nice what about um you? yeah uh, i'd probably rate this a 8.5 out of 10 nice so dope so yeah, yeah. Uh, there are, you know there there's only a couple that were nopes, and the motion sensor was a mega nope too. So we did have two mega nopes. Uh, so Asher, what would you rate this video? Um, I liked it. I uh, definitely liked seeing the products like used more. Um, like I liked Matthias's video more, but I liked it. Probably one of the better dope enough videos. I'd give it. A nine out of ten. Nice, yeah. I I really like this one. You know, definitely. You know, only eight products, but and I I feel like it. You know, it was actually the same length as every Dopamine video, but I you know there was less. But I thought it was really funny and cool. I'd probably rate this a nine out of ten too. So uh, I think yeah, that's it for the do- uh, Dopamine stuff. So now onto yeah. the final portion of this video, the get good gaming portion. Uh, so this was this week was really good in my opinion. I don't know about you, Asher. I don't know what you thought about it, but um, Asher, yeah, uh, I don't know. I yeah. liked it. Okay, so we'll start out with the first episode: uh, horse with monster trucks. Uh, this is a GTA Five video. This came out on August seventeenth, twenty twenty. So basically, they played horse with monster trucks. You know, they've done horse before. Uh, so at the end, Connor had H, Matt had H O, Tanner had H O R S. And Paul had H O R S E, uh, and actually both Tanner and Paul did have H O R S E, but they did get a rebuttal, uh, and but Paul did lose again. So this is Paul has never won a uh, horse or has lost every horse video. Uh, Asher, what do you think about this video? Asher, um, yeah. Uh, I think I would rate this video, uh, I don't know, like an 8 out of 10. I didn't really like it that much, you know, GG. Um, but yeah, I thought that it was an okay video. You know, GTA 5, not my favorite, but yeah. Nice. Uh, I, I really like this one, definitely. You know, I feel like the horse is really fun to watch. Uh, mm-hmm. I'd probably rate this a 8.5 out of 10. Yeah. Uh, now onto the next one, which is Invisible Hide and Seek in a Woodland Mansion. Uh, this is Minecraft. This came out on August 18, 2020. Uh, so Matt was actually not in this video. He was not there. So basically, they played Hide and Seek in a Minecraft Woodland Mansion. So it's like this giant mansion. Uh, so the hiders were invisible, and the seeker uh, had to find them. Uh, so round one, Paul lost. Round two, Connor lost. Round three, Connor lost. So Connor was the ultimate loser 
of this video. Asher, what did you think about this video? Um, going back to um, a few episodes ago when I was really not Team Paul, um, I definitely feel like I wanted Paul to lose or whatever, but he didn't. Um, he lost round one. Uh, but I really thought that it was a really, really good video. It's Minecraft. Um, really good, you know, idea. So I would rate this video a 9 point, or no, 9 out of 10. Na wow, nice. I really like this one. This was really fun. I wish Matt was there. I'd probably rate this a 9 out of 10, too. Nice. Uh, now on to the second to last one. It is racing our girlfriend's real car, real life cars. This is another GTA 5 one. This came on August 20th, 2020. So, you know, a lot of 20s in there. Uh -huh. uh, so basically, Matt had the test. Matt had a Tesla because Amanda does drive a Tesla. Uh, Connor's uh, girlfriend drives a Corolla. Uh, Paul's fiance Jenna, uh, not Jenna, Jen, uh, drives a Prius, and Tanner's girlfriend uh, Haley drives a BMW. So you know, not some bad. You know, BMW is not a bad car. Uh, so Tanner got first, Matt got second, Connor got third, and Paul got fourth. The only reason I think Matt lost was because uh, Tanner uh, got a little bit of a head start or, like, went on the freeway before them and, you know, they missed it. Uh, so, uh, uh, Asher, what do you think about this video? Um, I liked it. Um, it was, like, you know, GTA 5, but, you know, it was enjoyable, I guess. Um. I don't know. I'm kind of contradicting myself because I actually didn't like it, but then I said that I did. I actually didn't like this video. Um, I I don't know. I think this is my least favorite video out of the videos this week. Um, just because, like, they already did the racing cars ones with their mom's car. And, like, it was fun, but, like, funny, but still, like, you know, not the best game or whatever okay. like i like the comedy but like the actual challenge i wasn't really a fan of i'd probably give this a seven out of ten nice uh, i i liked it i love when they do the gta 5 videos i'd probably rate this an 8.5 out of 10. nice now on to the final one and i think the best gg video of this week uh it is bowling with cars in gta 5 this is another gta 5 video this came on august 21st 2020 uh, so basically, the teams were Matt and Paul versus Tanner and Connor. So basically, it's like uh, hit the human, but like you know, they got cars, had to go down the ramp, and uh, basically they had rocket launchers or different weapons to destroy the cars. So uh, match one, Matt and Paul won. Match two, Tanner and Connor won. Match three, Matt and Paul won. So basically, so Matt and Paul were the overall winners, and Matt had a gamer move. And basically hit a hit a destroyed Paul's destroyed car into Connor and killed him. So that was really cool. I really like this one. This is like one of my this is actually one of my favorite GG videos of all time. I really like this one. So Asher, what do you think about yeah. this? What do you think about this video? And what's your um name? I liked it. Uh yeah, I liked the idea. Definitely really cool. Nothing really that you've seen before. Um or yeah. Uh yeah, I really liked it. I think I'd rate this a um a, a eight point five out of ten. Nice. I really like this one. I would have to rate this a ten out of ten. Wow. This was great. That's so that's probably. two ten out of tens for me this week. Yeah. That's very unusual. Uh so I so, yeah. think that so guys, that's it for this week. Uh we are going to do our least favorite videos and so Asher. Uh, no, wait, no. I want to hear your your favorite video. No, I want. I, no, you go first. No, you. I've gone first for a long time. Because this is my podcast. Well, I'm I'm not going until you say yours because I want to see your favorite video out of the two that you gave ten out of ten. Asher, can you please go first? Okay. Asher, thank you, thank you for going first. Asher. 
So now we will be doing our favorite video and least favorite video of this week. So Asher, what are your favorite and least favorite video of this week? Um, so my favorite video was the Matthias video. Um, I forget what it was called. Wait, here, let me. Uh, overnight high five, at High Five Studios Challenge, we found something crazy. Um, I really liked it. Um, yeah, 10 out of 10 for that. You know, really good video. Um, my least favorite would probably be racing our girlfriend's cars in real life. Or racing our girlfriend's real life cars. Um, that one I just didn't really like, felt like just a part two and I didn't really like the first part. So yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, so my, I'm going to start with my least favorite video. Okay. Least favorite. I would say my least favorite video will have to be, oh, this is really difficult, mm -hmm. but I think it would have to be the racing our girlfriend's real life cars. And the only reason is because all the other ones are just too good. Wow, I I still really like the racing our girlfriend's real life cars. I but I just think out of all of them, this one I would probably pick last to watch. Uh huh. Uh, and then my favorite video, so it's between the bowling with cars in GTA Five, or the overnight and high five studios challenge. And. My number one for this week is the Overnight at High Five Studios Challenge. Nice. And the only reason is because it's, you know, it's longer. There's more stuff. But I still, but Bowling with Cars is literally, like, if it's a percentage and, like, uh, it's, like, the Overnight is 100%, this is, like, at 99%. Nice. So it's really close. Uh, so, Asher, what's your favorite channel of this week and what's your least favorite channel of this week? Um, I, my... Favorite channel uh, is Matthias, you know, best content out of him, I feel like, this week. Uh, yeah, I think this is, like, every time I've been on here. I it's always been Matthias. Matthias. Actually, I think one week was Team Edge. Okay, yeah. yeah. Um, but then my least favorite channel, just, like, with all of the other, you know, like, not that it was a bad channel. Actually, this week, I kind of liked it more. Um, but I just feel like uh, Gigi just had the, like, I wouldn't really want to see theirs. Like, if I had a choice to see all of them, like, one channel, that would probably be my last. Well, you, well you're like, oh, well, every week, I've noticed that this is not like criticizing you or anything, but you're like, I don't hate this channel, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, it's cheeky. But, you know, I would say my least favorite, uh, my favorite channel is definitely Matthias. Definitely with the ghost hunting was yeah. great. And then probably my least favorite channel. This is what, this one's really difficult. Like, really difficult. Mm -hmm. Like, there's so many good videos this week that, like, I, I would, the only reason I'm going to pick this one is because I would say, Definitely, you know, uh, even though the one the the one that is in this one did really good and like by itself, but I think overall for this channel, it definitely probably not probably the fourth of them is actually GG. Wow. I just thought like you know, out of like the whole channel, I think GG you know definitely didn't have the best ones, but they were still really good. I just think the other ones did really good too. I think this is the first, the second week in a row that you did GG for last place. Yeah, it might have been, yeah. But I, uh, I still love the bowling with cars. Mm -hmm. Like, I, it's just like overall. Yeah. Uh, and then, Asher, what is your overall rating for this week? Um, for the, for I really week like this week. week. It really was good. High Five is really stepping up its game. Um, I would... I would give it a a solid nine. Nice. Uh, I really like this. This week was really good. There are really so many good stuff. I'd probably rate this a nine point five out of ten. Nice. Really good. Uh, so I think that's it for this week, guys. Make sure to go check out our other channels. Link in the description below. Go check out the Instagram. Link in the description below. Uh, High Five Studios Fancast. Go check that out. Go check out the PewDiePie Dude Perfect. And Mr. Beast Fancast link in the description below, and go follow their socials. Uh, yep. 
I think that's it for this week. So, Asher, let's know when the signature sign off. High five.